hello guys welcome once again let's see what program we have made till now so when we run the program our login window will open when we enter password and user id press login button it shows the message whether user id is correct or not and then it opens the new window which is employee info window and then in this when we open the when we click this button new this page will open so now we are going to design this page and in this page we are going to uh, analyze our data which is there in the second table so let's get started how to do that how to analyze data and how to import or show our Analytical, analytical data in this J frame. So let's get started. This is our SQLite database. Till now we have made only one table called employee info, and now we are going to make another table. just right click and click create table and we will give the column names first of this table we are going to make it for pump so we will name it as first of first column as pump id because in every table or database the first thing you need to do is define a column which is which have a primary key in it so the data can be identified according to the key uh, and of course we will name our table user info for example and this first column prompt id will be our primary key and then we will add date Pump ID data type is integer date data type is date time and pressure its data type would be double then Temperature data time we will take it as double volume flow once again data time we will take it as double rotational speed data type is double so these six column I have made and 
the table name is user info and then press ok and it will show the query confirm operation yes and second table is made in which pump ID date pressure temperature volume flow and speed will come and now we will insert some values in it so pump ID for example one date it's important to know that SQLite or MySQL takes date in what format the SQLite takes date in year month and day format so we will take the date as for example year 2012 then month 05 then date for example 10 and pressure pressure we can take anything for example 15 temperature for example we will take 35 volume flow we will take it as 50 and the rotational speed we will take it as 2000 and when you click ok this add new record click ok and you can see the record is added to your table so in this way you can add your table information or table data one by one into it so I'm not gonna do that you can do by yourself and now we will go to our Java, Java JFrame and we will do some basic designing for example we will take menu bar and place it there then we will take toolbar as we have I have already shown how to use them for designing and this is it and next time when I will show this table I will fetch my user info table which is this table into this JFrame and how to fetch your database into JTable I have already shown so you will be able to see our table here and then I will show you how to design or how to analyze the data and I will also show how to make graph on the basis of our analysis and how to show or use J sliders, radio buttons and damp pane and many more things I will show you how to use them in this J frame so I think that's all for this video please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for now